finally tonight, in closing, I have to admit that I don't know what to say or what's even worthy of comment anymore. I know that sounds like a cop-out, but I'm missing the days when the sports world represented a relief from the madness of real life. Now, sadly, that is no longer true, and the stories, frankly, are spinning too fast for monthly reflection. As we sit here, we've got pro basketball leaders seemingly bent on creating a work stoppage for no other reason than to break their players' union. And we've got pro football owners filing a complaint against their union with the National Labor Relations Board, even though they're the ones intent on a lockout. As spring training gets underway, we've got baseball's best hitter demanding more than a quarter billion dollars by Wednesday, or he'll call off talks. And we've got one of the most respected men in hockey wondering about his involvement with the sport because the league's leaders are so inept. In golf, we've got the guy who was the world's best golfer immersed in a spitting scandal. We've got the world's most celebrated cyclist trying to fend off drug probes for the umpteenth time. And we've got those running the world's most popular sport being charged with incompetence while they conduct probes on the possibility of fixed games. Are we that much worse off than ever before? Or are we just learning more than we ever wanted to know about our games and our athletes? I confess I don't know. But right now it does seem that the same viral world that's driving events on the front page is taking all the fun out of the back pages we used to enjoy.